I've never set a tent up before, particularly in the rain. I did at one point think I was going to book into a hotel right across the road that we get to look at, enviously, but <laughs> it worked out in the end, so it's all good. <laughs> My name is Monica Tandy. I'm the founder of the Netball Development Trust. Uh, we're currently on tour in Uganda. It's our fourth tour. Uh, we've been to Uganda three times and India on one occasion so far. Our aim is to deliver a sustainable netball program to children in some of the least developed countries in the world. This is what we use. So I'm going to give you one of these. Some of you are familiar with it. Some of you are not. It basically just goes through the skills that we look to develop. They don't understand the footwork rule, they don't know three seconds, they don't know distance. What we're going to do is, we'll go through this this afternoon, walk around town, familiarise yourself with town, just see how things are moving around, um, get used to some of the warm-up drills, and then we'll try and have a practice session this afternoon of how we would conduct a coaching session tomorrow. <laughs> We're just going to go through some of those. Um, we'll do the chicken one first because it's one of our favourites. So Julie's going to demonstrate with Liz and Flavia and Sissy, who all know this. <laughs> We're giving back something that a community gave to me. Okay, it's not in my own country, but we are now working on that. But to come and give kids the opportunity to play and have fun and learn teamwork. We focus on girls and boys playing together, which is very key for us. And just becoming friends and playing on tournament day and supporting and being social. Um, that's the reasons I do this program. The slogan says making a difference through netball, so for me that really is just introducing a new game to the kids here. Many of them have not played netball, they don't know what netball is. We're not trying to change the world, we're just trying to bring some fun. This morning and eight this afternoon. We initially started by playing a game called Chicken, which is where you pretend to be a chicken and the children copy you. Chicken. That's all. Chicken! A chicken has a wing. Uh -huh. A chicken has two wings. A chicken has a leg. Uh -huh. A chicken has two legs. Uh -huh. A chicken has a neck. A chicken has a tail. That amazed me so much.
after that we worked on footwork, then they got into a, a small game at the end for 10 minutes. And that was fun. It's like an adrenaline rush because it really scares me, but it's so much fun. I'm Julie, Julie Smith, um, I'm the tour manager for this tour. It's my third NDT tour. I did Uganda this time last year when we did a week with Tag Rugby as well as Netball. And then we went to India in October, November, and back here this year. Can't get enough of it. Today is catching up on yesterday. So yesterday the children were taught throwing, catching basic footwork skills. Some struggled, some were naturals. So today is really trying to get that as a more natural movement for them. Again, some are still struggling. As you can hear by the screens behind, they're enjoying themselves, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I, I'm working with a school now who have never played netball before or seen netball or anything. So they are struggling more than others, but they're still having a lot of fun. And then later on we will then play a mini game to get them used to passing, moving, passing as a team, whilst doing the correct footwork and correct throwing. It's almost that, that, that mind game of them bringing it all in as one. So as a midweek treat, we take the volunteers to this most amazing place called Sippy Falls. It has three waterfalls. I absolutely love the place. It's one of my favourite locations to go in, in, in Bali. mobbed by these beautiful little children who are your who become our tour guides and they basically hold your hand all the way up and, and guide you through and they're so knowledgeable about the area. Now when we remove this thing you come to bins inside. When they come dry you wash it uh, then you put the sun. You take the and you sell it. It is one kilogram it is six thousand. A kilo. They are the local kids in Sippy, they live in Sippy. Quite a green area, uh, it's got coffee plantations, it's got the most amazing flowers. We trek up to the Three Falls and then we trek all the way back down. When it rains it can also be quite exciting to see a few people sliding through the mud. He dragged me up kicking and screaming. Can you imagine him 
like it's probably about three stone, putting up like eleven stone up the hill. Well done. <laughs> Um, but yeah, absolutely, the uh, uh, views that you can see when you reach the top of the, uh, of the falls and look down, you can see the whole town, the mountains, the greenery, it's absolutely amazing. Can you show me also, tell me, if you are not getting it, I, uh, I come back with the question again. I feel the question. Can I feel the question? Yes. I say, how many people, oppositions of play, are supposed to play? Two, three, but not four and five. Today we're actually doing court work, so we're actually dividing court up, letting them know the positions. Um, and also getting people used to playing those positions. There's a tournament on Friday with all the schools, so at the same time we're picking out those people that are picking up quickly and who have a skill in a certain area so that we can select them for the team. It's quite competitive, all the teachers want their school to win, so do the coaches, so we want to pick the best. <laughs> One of the key parts of the program is to develop local coaches and referees to leave a lasting legacy. We don't want to come in country for two weeks and then for the rest of the 11 months of the year um, for nothing to happen. My name is, by name I'm called Yojambo Tracy and I am on North Road Primary School. I played netball, okay, the game was introduced to the school in 2010. So I, I felt love in having the game. So I started playing in 2011 when they came back. So I had the interest to play the game. I went on with the game and I got so many things from the game. We won a trophy, and my coach was Coach Monique, Coach Maureen. I think right now he's not around. He coached me very well. I know everything, steps, everything I need to know in netball. That woman you see there called Coach Monique taught me everything. So she told us, you, you did well in the team, so I want to find for you, all of you, all my teammates, that I want to find for you a club. So, we accepted. They found us a club called Mbale Tigers. The club is good. You can get everything you want from that club. And I say, all of you are outside there. Do not hide your talent. If you need to play netball, go ahead. Don't hide your talent. Don't hide your passion. I thought that I cannot play netball. I thought that netball is just a game of fun. But when I entered netball, ha, ah, everything was nice. Games, shooting, everything was just sweet for me. Although I missed some classes, but I used to come and play netball. Even my mother used to tell me that, Tracy, you have a heart disease, you cannot go and play. I told my mother, oh, don't I have a heart disease, I must go and play. So I went on playing and I think in, in future there, I'll become a, a coach of netball. That's what I have. <laughs> I'm David Livingston and I'm the chairperson of Netball Trust Mbale. Yeah, the train of trainers, Monica with the help of Judy, they wanted to see that the, the, the talent continues, you know. Uh, they, they didn't want just like when they're going away and then the whole thing ends there. So they came up with the program of train of trainers. They are training some people and then they are giving them extra skills in addition to the last year's skills. So they are training them 
to also go back and train their particular schools so they want to keep the talent moving on. Yes, tournament day tomorrow, and uh, tomorrow is Friday, which is the D day. And uh, I've got uh, uh, Trust Primary School and Busamaga Primary School who are just behind me doing their last uh, drills. I really, ha I'm not sure of who is going to win, but uh, yeah, they all look, they all look up there. So uh, I wish, I wish everyone the best. I'm very excited for the tournament tomorrow. Um, as I said, we took three hours picking a team today, so it'll be good to see everyone come together and see which of us coaches are the best. Because I want to win. We're going to win. Or maybe Tanya. Tanya's very dominating. <laughs> she may win. She's my biggest fear. She's my biggest rival in this because I've seen the way she coaches and she's very dominant and she doesn't let the English barrier get to her like I do. I'm good to sit number one. Um, I come from Uganda and I'm at the national team uh, in Uganda. We really face the problem because we can get a degree, then we will not get a job. But if you join the school and really get trained very well, you can get a job, at least you can be a coach. Yeah, that's the problem of Uganda. We're trying to build infrastructures here. I think that's key. There is, there is a complete lack of structure. And obviously we start at grassroots level. In Bali has now got a netball committee and the academy has resurrected the netball team. So that I think will help bring some of the talent. And there is a massive talent pool out here, it's obvious. Um, but there is no way of getting that child into a camp in, say, in the capital city of Kampala, where they would then get recognised, potentially be invited to an international camp and trial for the international team. Um, yeah, I would love if we ever get an opportunity, you know, come back in 10 years' time, and I've seen one of our little happy children, little flowers as I call them, um, get into the team. That would be absolutely amazing. <laughs> I'm called Hamida Nakanyeke. I play for Tigers Club in Bali. Netboy is really good. It's enabling kids to associate, making friends, meeting from different schools. When the Netboy Development Trust leaves us with the, the uniforms, the balls, the beads, we are able to use them. We are going to be having competitions, even if our sponsors are not there, we shall come together, do the thing. When these sponsors of ours are back, they will be seeing what we've been doing without them. We shall be moving out, spreading the gospel, thanking the sponsors who are giving us this chance of teaching these kids how to play netball, giving us chance to teach them. Yeah, we really thank them and appreciate a lot. Ya vane 
So it's Friday morning, it's our uh, last morning in Bali. It's time to get all the tents down, pack up, amazingly fun day, we've got the team prepared, all the kids are excited, we've got courts to mark. It's drizzling a little bit, but hey, that won't stop us. It's all gonna be fine, because it's tournament day. <laughs> On tournament day, um, all the eight schools that we've been coaching will bring the team we've selected um, and hopefully all their supporters. We encourage all the kids that have been ta taking part in the programme this week to also come with their school banners, uh, with their drums, so that they make as much noise as possible. <laughs> We appreciate the volunteers from UK. You have done us a very good job. You have made netball develop very well. We appreciate you. And I'm saying, I'm ending by saying, North Road, we are the number one. We are the champions. We are leading today. We must win. We are doing here. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> fantastic support from home, uh, in particular Gilbert and Kukuri, but most of our kit distribution is actually from people at home just donating their old club kit. We run kit amnesties on a regular basis. It's absolutely amazing how clubs do help at home uh, when they see what we're doing. <laughs> My name is Ibrahim Maseke. I go to the Koko Maluk Primary School. They are there, they told us to come here and we start to, 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 to practice the netball. But the netball is, is amazing. There's many things that we have learned. We have learned to pass the ball and to receive the steps. Yeah, Maluk will win and we shall win the trophy. successive tours to Uganda now. We started in 2010 with four schools, we did another one in 2011 with eight schools and this year we're going to be doing 16 schools. Eight of those schools are here in Nimbali and eight are in Jinja which is obviously doubling up and a massive achievement for us. We also did our first tour to India last year at the end of October and the beginning of November. We're hoping with the scope of more UK volunteers and more coaches here in country, we can expand and double up next year and coach more train the trainers and more kids of course. North Road, very well. I'm the champion and I'm anticipating I'm going to take the trophy. I already have five goals. One, I'm doing well. Wait, I'm going to have the second one now. I mean the 61. Wow. Our plan is to expand. We're lucky in that we get quite a lot of invitations to different countries, particularly more of the poorer regions, Pakistan, Afghanistan, more countries in Africa. Um, and some even in Europe. We also have plans to do more work back home. We're looking to link up with some youth projects. We want to introduce netball with the young 13, 14, 15 year olds and then have tournaments and hopefully expand that so we accumulate more youth projects in England. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So if anyone is interested in coming on a tour or helping in any way, providing kit or get involved back at home, the best way to get in touch is through our website which is www.netballtrust.co.uk. It's got our email addresses and our telephone numbers. We're also on Facebook and on Twitter. Get in touch. This is Valley Police. We have come here to play netball and we enjoy netball so much. Now I encourage you people to also come and play netball. Yes. Shut down. That's what we say. We're ever smart. <laughs>